In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put together this, the fully mechanical, fully 3D printable RoboBaller. So if you haven't yet, get your files printed. They can be found on jbvcreative.com and they're designed to work with these specific balls, which you can purchase from Amazon. There's a link in the description, but there's also an adapter so you can use standard ping pong balls. So let's start with this piece right here and lay it flat and grab the piece labeled arm top link and that will go onto this post. Arm bottom link goes onto this post. This gear link piece will go onto this post right here. And the gear with the small side facing down will mesh with that. Make sure that they roll together. Next, grab your shorter pin. That'll go from the back of this link and then you can attach your cross link to that pin and to the post on the upper link. C clamp them into place. Last is the scoop link, which goes on the top post. And we're going to adjust that position later. So don't C clamp this upper arm cover into place just yet. Next, grab your base and slide the bottom and top link into the stands and secure it with both of these long pins. And then you can throw some C clamps to hold those into place. Now hold the entire piece on the side like this, and then you can adjust the scoop link and you want it to be in this position. So yeah, just get into that position and then you can see clamp the upper arm into place here. Next slide the paddle onto the back of the lower link and then use the small pin to hold that in place and then toss the seat clamp onto the end of that pin and make sure that everything's moving smoothly together. The final step for the arm is to throw the scoop on. So I'm choosing for the smaller ball scoop that slides onto the end of the scoop link. Use the tiny pin and the little tiny seat clamp to hold that into place. Sweet. So pro tip here, if you have little rubber feet, they work really well on this piece to keep everything stable when you're taking shots. I also threw some rubber feet onto the bottom of the base for the hoop. And you can grab the post and screw it in with these little thumb screws. Make sure it's nice and tight and then grab the hoop and that will slide into the hole in the backboard. You can slide this piece onto the back of that and use a screw to hold that into place. Make it tight enough that it doesn't move around. If your hoop came off the printer with a bunch of strings like mine, you can just hit it with the heat gun. Make sure you don't concentrate the heat too much in any one spot, but that should get rid of pretty much all of the strings, which is a great tip. All right, let's keep moving. So align the top stand of the basket with the two holes on the post and use the long pins to hold that in place. Throw a couple of C clamps on that and you're good to go. It's pretty fun to use it without the arm, but that's not why we're here. And honestly, it's not that easy, but once you start getting the hang of it, it's super fun. Happy printing. 